morning guys excuse the rotten state of me i just got up we've had a shower i thought it'd be fun for me to take you through my day today it's completely new different but you know what i love watching things like this i love watching hauls what people just do in the day of lockdown on youtube and i thought hmm, let's just take you through i always thought i couldn't do this because i always feel like my life is so not interesting but hopefully some of you are interested so let's just get into it okay let me start off with last night so usually the night before i will write a list of things to do like what i'm filming the stuff that I still need to do that I haven't got around to and then nine times out of ten they will actually leave me a really cute message to wake up to I love seeing these messages it just makes my day gets me started on the first of Jan he left me this is your year baby and I just thought it was so nice so we've got a few things to do today first up let's get breakfast I love this breakfast I've been eating it for weeks and do you know what I'm not really a breakfast person I go straight into lunch but this this is banging okay so we have milk roll bread by warburton's this ah oh, this is so good we've got margarine and we've got jam and then we have a cup of tea honestly basic but i have it literally every single day i get so many questions about this mug as well it's from asda how cute i'm so ready to eat mm. 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 Okay, so our first attempt of the day is actually to get ready. Concealer, you guys already know, concealer foundation is my favourite. This is what my makeup collection is looking like now. It's pretty extensive. I need to do a declutter because I definitely don't use all of these products and some of them will definitely be expired. But if you want a video on the makeup collection that has now spread to over there and here, let me know. Genuinely, my favourites change all the time, but the foundation of uh, dreams right now is the Estee Lauder. This is the Futurist Hydro Rescue. I use the shade of bronze. Pair that with the Too Faced Sculpting Concealer. Match made in heaven. Or do you know what I've been loving? The Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. If you follow me on stories, you'll know. Ah, oh, banging. But so many concealers that I absolutely love. Makeup is now on. You're kind of leaning against my Hollywood mirror at the moment. So it's the lighting and everything is bad i'm sorry but how, out of curiosity right how long does it take you guys to do your makeup i timed this today and it's taken me 45 minutes and that's not bad considering i'm doing hair as well we've got blusher it's just my everyday makeup so if you want to see this look head over to my instagram because i wear this all of the time but what i've been loving and i use it literally every single day is the dragon beauty if you guys haven't tried this yellow powder underneath the eyes and you want that kylie jenner bright under eye Honestly, it's so good. What I need to do now is I'm gonna be filming some ad work. So I need to take these cows out. I need to get changed. And I'll take you guys through my filming set because it's been a hot minute since you've seen that. And yeah. But why is it so gloomy outside? So, oh, gray, dark. It's so dark in this flat. Please excuse the mess everywhere. I've just finished filming and this sock represents my life right now. But this is how I film. You don't. I can't stress enough, you don't need like a fancy setup. This is honestly my living room and this is how I set up. So Bay has to deal with it. We've just filmed some ad work. I use this tablet, we've got a ring light and then I've got my camera back there. I've used daylight today even though it's super, super dark. I was supposed to be filming a haul for you guys which I knew you would have loved but I'm gonna have to film that tomorrow because I haven't got time. But this is what it looks like. Let me show you a close-up. I'm also gonna flip you around so you can see what I look like on the camera right now. So this is in fact a Lenovo tablet. This links up to my camera which is super good because right now I, it probably looks quite out, um, out of focus. No, quite bleh, looks overexposed. Let me get my words out. But I can film from here. I can like focus. So it focuses on me, I can take photos, I can change the ISO so I can make it brighter, darker. I can do a lot. Basically, this is like the control panel of the camera and then it's just attached like this. There's probably easier ways to do this, but I find this super easy because I can see everything that you guys will basically see. We have a mirror right here. This setup, I mean, we've got a blender holding us up. And then we've got this really affordable ring light. I feel like it was £100 off Amazon a long time ago. This is Wallamex. And I've got my Canon camera. Around the back there, this is a 5D Mark III. I need to upgrade on my camera, but you can see the cord there. And that's basically how I film in daylight. And then if I'm filming reels, I will film reels in portrait. So right now, I just did an IG video. This is how I do my YouTube videos. 
but I would flip this all round, flip the camera around, and then film my reels that way. And at the moment, I'm filming like twice a day, you know. I actually love it though. But yeah, here we are. So this is what you guys will see on the other side. So you can see that we do have a background. You can see the kitchen, but it's color corrected. It's a little bit different, but this setup allows me to speak to you guys. And I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I'm still trying to work out how to do the settings on it, this vlogging camera because it gets overexposed and then it doesn't show true skin tone. I mean, I don't know. If I switch the ring light off, it looks a bit weird. But like I was saying, you don't need a, sorry, you don't need a really good setup. You just don't. You can film on your phone. Also, all the reels that I do for TikTok and mostly all the reels that I do on Instagram are all filmed on my 12 Max Pro, which is this phone. Love this for genuinely doing reels. It's so good. I was even thinking about just filming this YouTube video on my phone. But as you can see, my kitchen's behind me. This is the living room. This is also a filming room. You make it work, guys. Make it work. <laughs> Back in my PJs now, but I thought I'd show some PR that arrived today. So we've got Morphe to start off with. You guys have seen it first because I've not even storied it yet. This They've collaborated with I Love It Sarah E, which is so fun. I love her. She's so beautiful. So this is what PR usually looks like. It will come in a box. There'll be a little leaflet in there to tell you what the product is all about. And then we have the 355, and this one is called the Sweet Oasis Palette. So let's open this one up. Wow, this palette is absolutely stunning. I only just realized that you could take the top off. So we've got some makeup brushes right here. We have, what are these, liquid lipsticks? No, these are lip glosses. I love nudes. I think I love, sorry, he loves nudes as well. And then we have this eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, you know what color screams at me? Sandbar. That's such a shade that I would use literally every single day. I love this shade. So these are like daily shades for me. But then we have pinks. We've got this beautiful color. I can't wait to put that one on the lid. And then we've got, this is the shade that I love to wear on the lips right now as opposed to a red. It's just a beautiful palette. I love Morphe. Morphe shadows are just the one. They are so pigmented, easy to blend. So this one's called, I thought it was a 355. It's the 35S. Sweet Oasis. I'm going to share some other bits so that this is the morphe one that i literally just got right now i've also got so tat tat tat, tat can't speak tatty lashes always that stock me up and we have some lashes right here they always stock me up with my favorites and i've still got the dress on they always stock me up with my favorites i'm gonna show you which one my favorite is but look at these lashes tatty lashes are just honestly banging so tr3s from tatty lashes Honestly amazing, they're even better after a few wears. We also have this one. This one is one of my go-tos. This is called the Bitches Back. And look at them. They sort of like wing out, which is stunning. We also have some individuals. I don't, I've tried like TL4s, TL6s, but the TL, so these are the TL6s as well. But the TL3s are my favorite. And then I've never really grasped how to do individuals, if I'm honest. I've never given it time of day. But now that I like more natural lashes, sometimes I like more natural lashes. These will come in handy as well, but they always top me up. Like every month or so, every couple of months, I'll get a batch of all of my loves. We are also doing a cooking class tonight with Cook Along and Elf, which I'm so excited. You guys will see. I'm just excited for it because it's going to be a masterclass. So we've got this package. I've got another package with all the food that I'm going to show you guys. But if you haven't tried these Ride or Die Bombs, if you haven't tried them... Oh, they are so good. I love the pink one. It just kind of tints your lip, but these are my favorite. They're so affordable as well. I feel like they're under five pounds. And then we have all of these. So these are putty blushes. How insane. Shall we open one? Can I open it with one hand? Uh, Probably not because it's probably going to have the foil, but you can see that I'm assuming they're going to be like jelly liquid. What are these then? These are for eyes, I'd assume. No, these are primers. So we've got primers as well. And then we've got blushes. Oh, super exciting. I love cream liquid blushes. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to love that. Look at that shade. <gasps> Guys, I also just wanted to share how beautiful some of the PR package I receive are. This is the new Givenchy foundation, which sounds so up my street it's a glowing one it's got 90 percent skincare ingredients in but we have croissants we've got macaroons we've got chocolate milk iced coffee orange juice some dried flowers such a beautiful pr package so the content that i have just filmed i like to if i can edit the same 
evening or the same day as the content is filmed but there's a little bit of a tighter deadline on this one so it looks overexposed to you guys i'm going to turn the brightness down but this is what it looks like i use final cut pro and then i'm gonna edit this i this ig video is gonna take a little bit longer with sponsored content i take a lot longer with reels i can edit a reel within literally 20 minutes if i put my mind to it 30 minutes max but I'm gonna have to edit this content right now. So it is, what time is it? It's three o'clock right now in the afternoon. I've been awake since nine. So let's get this edited and then, someone please tell me why I think it's a good idea. I'm thinking, so I brushed all my cows out. I did cows earlier on today, but I brushed them out because I'm thinking whether it would be a good idea to do a reel on like how I pin my cows and how to do that hairstyle because I thought the hairstyle was so beautiful I thought you know what and it didn't take me long it literally took me like 10 or 15 minutes I thought I might as well film it as an IG reel whilst I've got my makeup on am I crazy am I I don't know I might do it I might not but for now I need to get this content edited content out and then I'll keep you updated it's only three we have a cooking class at 6 15 so let's see what I can get done I like to basically if you guys know me um how I deal with lockdown and how I deal with the pandemic, sorry, you're swinging. Deal with the pandemic is just keeping busy. Like, all I want to do is film, edit, better myself, and feel empowered. That's that's what I do, and that's what makes me so happy. While I wait for this to export, does anyone else do this? We had red Thai curry yesterday that I made. Honestly, I saved the sauce because on bread, I can't even explain to you how yummy it is. So yummy. Okay, so I'm basically sat contemplating whether I want to do a reel or not. I'm thinking no for now. I'm probably setting up the stuff for the cooking glass. But this is the setup. So we have fairy liquid <laughs> that holds our phone here. The phone would go there. And then I've got this light off Amazon that's really good. You can change it to yellow, white, bright, and all of that jazz. But this is how I... And you can see all the makeup marks here. Mm. My makeup removal today. We're gonna do a little bit of skincare, but I can't for the life of me pick what kind of sheet mask. I have a few favourite sheet masks that I like, run out of them, funnily enough, because we have drawers full here. But I think we've gone for an eye mask. We've gone for this Ciate Energy Boost eye mask. And then we're just picking through. I'm just gonna level them up here. We've got a tango. Gonna get serums, we've got serums, eye creams, and then we've got some like kind of like balm stuff. I've also got lip products. Lip products tend to be my thumbnail pieces. But then we've got an overflow here of skincare as well. So I'm just going through to see what I need for today. But that would mean that I've done quite a bit of filming for today. Guys, I've resorted to locking myself in the bedroom. I just need to get away. Like, I just want to be on my own and do my own thing. And... It's annoying sometimes, you know, when you live in a small flat with your partner and you need space. And you're on top of each other like this all the time. I need a house now. I really need a house now. And I'm upset. I've got a class in 45 minutes. And I just want a brief. I, can't, I feel like I'm suffocating. And this only happens to me when I've got loads of work or I want to do loads of work and I just can't because I don't have the space to. That's all it is, it's the space. Okay, so we have a cook along with Elf tonight. We have an apron and they've kindly sent a wooden spoon. We also have this blender that's going to come in handy later on down the line but they are partnering with cook along tv we have all of these products we're making a risotto and we're making a dessert as well but everything comes i think we're making cocktails as well yeah everything comes in these pouches all labeled how cool i'm going to share what we make with you guys because it's going to be so much fun all the way around i've never done this not on a shopping board before but that's great we'll go for it then what you're going to do is you're going to cut from the top in an oval shape from one tip to the They'll be ready in two or three minutes. I'm just making the pastry. And here it looks really... Oh, actually, yeah. maybe because these rectangles so, are thinner. I mean, smaller. Push on the pastry. Okay. Making the pastry. Ooh. 
Okay, so it's difficult for me to vlog and cook at the same time, but we've just chopped up our onions, diced my garlic. I'm learning new tips and tricks. This is so much fun. Honestly, they send you all the stuff in bags as well like this. So it's not that difficult because everything's weighed, weighed out for you, measured out for you, but I love the chopping bits. We ready for another ladle? Nicely mm -hmm. it. Okay, so we've got our vegetable stock. Popping that in to the risotto rice. I've never made risotto before. This looks delicious. And then you want that to basically vanish. And then we add more stock. We are going to be here forever. Are we doing it right? He looks like he's got more liquid in his. Mm. Honey, don't know. And then we've got dessert as well. Let me see. Wow, look at his. Wow, he's really his colourful. looks so beautiful. Look at his. Did you add pesto as well to it? Yeah. Add the nuts the pesto I'm going to add the nuts now. Okay. Mine looks nothing like his. I was a bit more watery, I think. No, I just put the pesto on. Oh, maybe. Yeah, no, his is a bit watery as well. Mm. He placed nuts in every mouthful. How many mouthfuls is that, baby? 500. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks nice. Yeah. You're going to do a taste test? Yeah. yeah. This looks so good. That's so good. Mm. 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 It's really comforting. Yeah? Mm. It's really comforting. What are you giving it out of 10? So nice. Really nice, actually. Really nice. Mm. Really nice. How long would you say it took to make? Ages. Try it. Am I going to go? I think I'm going to eat two portions. No, it's really nice. I'm not going to share it. Oh, good. And you can add your own flavour to it. Yeah, you can add your own yeah. Deconstructed poached pear top. Oh, wait, wait. oh, it looks pretty. Oh, I don't know. Does it look pretty? <laughs> wait, let me get close. This is my piece de resistance. What are the layers? Go on, tell so, we've got poached pear, raw pear, cacao cream, praline nuts, and this pastry that we've made. And then I don't actually know what this topping is, but I think it's to make it look pretty. Grab a spoon, go. Go and try. No, 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 no. We do it together. I'm going to take a photo of it. Okay guys, so the cook along is done. We really enjoyed that. Now I am going to do another video. I'm going to remove my makeup. I like to do this at the end of the day. To be honest, I'm not feeling the greatest today. I'm feeling quite stuffed. Like my nose feels quite stuffy. I'm sneezing a lot, but I want to still remove the makeup whilst I have it on. I've had to move the boxes here as well because I'm doing a YouTube video tomorrow. But let me just show you this out. Okay, so again, we've laid out our skincare products. We're going to do a makeup removal. So this is the setup, which is more of a nighttime setup. We've got the mirror here. Then this is a reel. So this is what a reel will look like in a portrait finish. PJ's on, ring light camera. Not going to lie. I don't want to be doing this right now, but I know that I will be grateful for it after. <laughs> This is one of the perks of this job. I get to put face masks on. I love a really good sheet mask. This one's actually Super Glory. I love Sip I love the Super Glory Vitamin C mask. But I'm just gonna relax for like 10 minutes, go on my phone, because I've had a super hectic, busy day. The mask is sliding off. So I'm gonna sign off. Actually, I will sign out once all my skincare is done and show you my skin. And then I need to do some emails and go to bed. And that, guys, is a wrap. So I've just finished filming. All I'm going to do now is I need to jump and finalise some content emails for tomorrow's ad work and organise what I'm filming tomorrow, make sure everything's in a check, write my to-do list tomorrow. But it kind of is a repeat of today. So I hope it was interesting. I hope you guys really liked it. I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. But I wanted to say I love you. And thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, then thank you so much. Mwah. Also, look at my skin. She's glistening like a dolphin. Signing out at exactly 10 at 30. Usually is later than this, but we did well today. We did well. Guys, this is literally how my life is holding together right now. Busting at the seams. Look at me. I can't even go to Asda Living to get another 